Oh, if you like a lot of points, at least one of the teams uh, has probably got a good opportunity to put up uh, more than a few. Inside our San Francisco studios, Yogi Roth, Curtis Conway, Mike Yam with you. The Holiday Bowl will feature a Washington State team that has been thriving offensively because of their play of their quarterback in Luke Falk, number two in terms of passing offense in the country. They'll face a Minnesota team that Pac-12 fans should be at least somewhat familiar with after they matched up against uh, Oregon State. It seems like two contrasting styles, though, Yogi's. Well, yeah, I mean, you referenced the Wazoo passing attack. Minnesota, on the contrary, is 108th in the nation in passing offense. But I really can't wait to see the style of Wazoo up front. Cody O'Connell, he wasn't even a first-team All-Pac-12 conference offensive lineman, but a finalist for the Outland Trophy at the guard. I can't wait to watch him against this Minnesota defensive front. Minnesota's been competitive in all their games of the Big Ten. Wisconsin, Nebraska, you watch them throughout the season. They're a team that is going to be physical at the line of scrimmage. Surprisingly, Wazoo is as well. They like to run the football. Hercules Mata off on the other side, so I'm excited to watch the, that area of this ball game, even though we knew Luke Falk will do his thing. Guys, I think as a whole, this is a big game for Washington State. Yeah. I mean, considering where this team has come from, you look at last year, they made it to 9-4 and four at the end of the season. And this season, you look at them, they were playing really well. And then the last two games they lost to Colorado and Washington, two top 10 football teams in college football. This team this, that they're playing in Minnesota, like you said, contrasting in style, but at the same time, that Big Ten type of grinding out again, Pac-12, Big Ten on that level. When you talk about teams and conferences from top to bottom, this is a huge game, but not to mention again, Washington State, you don't want to go backwards. You don't want to end this at 8-5. and five. If you can at least finish where you finished off last year and you finish off with a win, it's huge for that program. Yeah, December 27th, you can catch this game. This is a Washington State program, guys, looking to win back-to-back -back bowl games, first time in school history. And, of course, we'll have everyone covered on this matchup leading up to it right here on the Pac-12 Network.